I'm just coming on for a little bit. Um, hope y'all day is going well. Keeping you guys in prayers. That's every day. I'm just out and getting me some food now. I went to two grocery stores and got some groceries. Um, got some water. They had only like three cases left and they only let me two per customer. So I was able to get two. And I'm glad I went last week and got what I needed in the week before that. So I just racked up on some more stuff for Justice for what he needs and some more things to cook at the house and things like that. We have some other stuff to cook at the house still too and I still have some grocery stuff from last week a few with. I was like, um, you know, get some more groceries. So I went early this morning and went. It's afternoon time now. I also went to the gas station and filled up. You know, so I just, I'm just kind of coming on, just giving you guys an update how my morning is going. My morning is going great. I got up early, early this morning, prayed, spent some quiet time, devotional time with God. I was able to get a lot more rest today. And now I'm just, you know, got the gas, got the groceries. I'm, I feel good with that because it's really not anything on the shelves. As you guys can see, that's been going on the last couple of weeks. So I'm just grateful that our trust is in God. God is good and he's still supplying. God is amazing. He's faithful. He is in control. You know. And so that's kind of how my day is going. Once I get back to the house, I'm just going to put this stuff up. Um, put this stuff up. I'm going to record the Purpose Driven Life for you guys for a few minutes. And then I'm going to begin um, back working on the book. Um, my devotional book. I'm typing that up, so I'm working on that. A lot of the libraries are closed and everything, so most of the things are inside, like you guys supposed to know. So I'm just maximizing the most of my time. You know, these times like this makes me um makes me thankful for already being hidden in Christ. Like the people that this is waking up and drawing closer to God, you know, even though it's a it's a terrible situation and virus, but God is speaking through this and he will work it for our good, especially those that believe and trust in him. And it's like, it just makes you so thankful to already be in God, to already be having a prayer life, to already have where, where you don't, when no one take it out of context, but where you're not waiting for a tragedy or, pan, or pandemic or chaos to strike the crop to God. But it is good for those that it, like they probably wasn't in God before we were taking him seriously. They can scan attention to what God is saying for this. They're seeking him, you know. But for us that already is in Christ, it's just it makes us just want to go deeper in Christ because we already are is in him and trust him and love him. We praise and worship him through good and bad. I'm sorry guys about this. I guess they cut in the grass or something. I'm just recording while this this it's like a long line in front of me. So I'm just being patient and just, you know, recording because I know some of you like you ain't post no video yet. But that's kind of how my day was going. But it just makes you just want to be thankful for already being in God. You know, just already trusting Him, crying out to Him. And I'm continuing to intercede, you know, for everyone. You guys, everyone that God put on my heart. But this is the time, guys. Not just because of this. I really personally feel like these are just the birth pains. You know, that's me personally. You know, what the word saying, what God sent to me and what he sent to many other of his children. I'm telling you, this is the time for us to be repenting, praying our light up before fasting, seeking God. And once this do kind of, I don't want to say blow away or be under wraps. Because like I said, I feel like this is just the birth pains. And it's up to people how they're going to perceive it. Are you going to be driven by fear by the enemy? Because that's what the enemy is trying to do. Or are you going to trust God? There's a lot being said to me with this. Fear. Um, God is speaking through certain things. So you, it depends on how you're looking at it and who you're going to serve. Are you going to give it to the spirit of fear? Are you going to keep your trust in Jesus? You know, so that's how I look at it. And I just feel like as children of God, for us to continue to keep our focus in it, you know, the world has seen other things too, but I don't think it's been, you know, the world has seen other things too, but God is speaking in this time as well. This is what I want to say. Because how I'm seeing it in my head, I don't know how to really express that. So that's the best way I kind of can say it. But like I said, we got to keep our faith in God. This is the time to be fasting, 
praying, seeking him in that word. I've been telling you guys that for years. Through good and bad times, the highs and lows. You know? So, you guys be encouraged. The next video that I probably do is, um, like I said, the Purpose Driven Life once I'm inside the house and everything. And I hope y'all having a good day. Any prayer requests, praise reports, email me. Um, you guys want to request Bible study packets, those are free. Email me. Um, the live phone conference classes, those are free. So, the prayer line call on there, they're free. What else am I forgetting? I'll probably put the rest of the stuff in the description box. And we do have our corporate. Um, you guys know that for the last couple of years, we've been doing our on the YouTube videos, and we're also on the prayer line. We're on the prayer line faithfully. We're doing the classes faithfully. We're doing our, um, our corporate Bible studies on the line, our corporate monthly prayers as well. And I'm opening up the line as God leads. This past week alone, I think I opened it up like four or five times. And then tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is our Bible study, our 45-minute corporate. You guys know we do that 45-minute corporate. So we're going to be praying on there. We're going to be doing Bible study on there as well. So if you want to join in for that, feel free to join in. We did pray. We prayed on Sunday at 7. We prayed Monday at 5. And then we prayed again yesterday or something like that. But I love you guys. I'm just coming on updating. And y'all have a blessed, beautiful day.